how do you future proof your implants to be repurposed later for all on X? Well, let me tell you how. The answer is, is that when you're planning a single implant in, in, in the mouth, you should think at some point in time, I may need to repurpose this implant as part of a full arch solution. Therefore, you want to place the implant in a way that it can be used for both solutions. And the best way to do that is to get it in the right depth. The depth is the one that most people get wrong. And, and how do I know this? Well, if you do enough all on X's and the patient comes to you and they've got one or two implants, almost every single time we have to retrieve those implants. And it's unfortunate because we go, gosh, if this implant was just a little bit deeper, we could repurpose it for the all on X solution. And then we, the patient's paying less, right? You have less of an investment and it reduces risk. So the way you do that is you get it deep enough. And quite honestly, guys, it's not that big of a difference. And what do I mean? Well, in most people, if you place a dental implant in the right position, you're placing the platform of the implant three to four millimeters apical to the desired free gingival margin. So let's use a central, a central clinical crown, 10 millimeters long. Let's call it 10 millimeters long. If you place the implant three to four millimeters apical to that free gingival margin, 10 plus four is 14 millimeters. If you then have to convert that later to an all on X solution, you've got 14 millimeters of crown height space. And, and although the, most labs would tell you the minimum is 12, okay? So people are getting by with 12, 14 is pretty good. You'd like to shoot for 15 to 17 in most cases for strength reasons, but 14 is reasonable. So you at least give the patient a fighting chance that, that you can convert this. And, and this is really important because Implants, when they, when they integrate properly, they, in my opinion, they can last a lifetime. And so if you get the implant in the right location, you can repurpose it. So all of my cases, all of my cases, when I plan an implant, I think this patient may lose more teeth over time and they may need a full arch solution later. So I want to make sure that I repurpose it. And I've, I've done way too many cases where I've had to retrieve implants and I just say, gosh, this is awful because the implant's integrated. It's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the implant. There's nothing wrong with the bone. It's just in the wrong location. So as we've said numerous times on the show, location, location, location is the single most important thing you can do as an implantologist. It's, it's never more obvious than when you're placing a single implant to think about the patient in their future needs, especially if someone has, um, if they have failing dentition. So when you, when you do the treatment plan, you're looking at placing one or two implants and you, and you look at the rest of the mouth, you go, yeah, but the longevity of these teeth that have been worked on multiple, multiple times. So they have root canals, buildups, crowns, and, and recurrent decay around them. And you look at them, they're all not looking so good. And you think they, the longevity of the remaining dentition is poor. Like the, the prognosis is poor. It's really important to stop and say to yourself, what, where is this patient going to be in the next couple of years? And placing two implants now and then in two or three years, having to retrieve those to place an all on X, it's not in their best interest. So think ahead for the patient, future-proof your cases, and make sure you plan for your implants to be in the right depth. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the Smile Engineer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a follow, and we'll see you on the next video.